Well, okay, so I looked at this one and it's like, okay, calculate an acceleration of a free electron in the wire. Well, that would be, I guess, the, the acceleration due to the electric field causing the current, right? So we just figured out the length of the wire. It's about 100 meters, right? Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to say, okay, well, F equals MA, right? Okay, so therefore the acceleration is going to be force divided by mass, okay? The mass, you're going to have to look up the mass of the electron. Uh, look it up in the front where the constants are. Look that thing up, right? And then the force is going to be, well, E times Q, right? And that is equation 5, 1, number 5. I just rearranged it a little bit, right? Okay. Now, Q is going to be the charge on an electron, right? So look that up in the front. You're going to look that up. That's a constant, right? And then how do you find the electric field? Well, <laughs> here's this wire, right? Um, and we've got 12 volts across it, right? So, so just imagine this little wire here. It's about 100 meters long, right? Okay, we've got 12 volts across this thing. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go electric field is minus change in V E over change in R. And this is the equation, I think it's section 10-2. Yeah, there we go, 10-2, and I call this equation 4. So 10-2, section 10-2 in your data packet, the fourth equation there, right, is this one. Okay, so our electric field, you're going to put in the 12 for that. And then the R is going to actually be, somewhat surprisingly, the length of the wire. That is that the, this 12 volts, okay, is changing. We're going from 0 to 12 in oh, about 100 meters. Okay, so put that in there. That'll give you an electric field, right? Take that electric field, plug it in there, right? Put in the charge of an electron there. Put the mass of an electron there. And you will get a tremendous acceleration. It's on the order of 10 to the 10th. Uh, meters per second squared, right? It's a huge something times 10 to the 10th, okay? Good enough.